Now logging and monitoring, it's always crucial to any network security, uh, to anybody, any organization that wants to deploy any, any kind of network security. So this is mandatory because otherwise if you don't if you don't log network events and you don't monitor the state of the, of the network how do you know if your network and users are behaving as expected and not breaking any policies it can be that you know it can be that users are trying on purpose to bypass the built-in configured network security policies and technologies like they're trying to get more access to the internet than they're allowed to or they're trying to bypass the firewall or it can happen that their end systems are infected and without them give, even knowing those uh, infected end systems, the malicious code residing on the systems is trying to leak information out of the company towards the attackers in the internet. So either way, you need to have visibility in what happens in the network. So likewise, how can you know if intruders have taken over the network or specific endpoints and are trying to leak sensitive, sensitive data if you don't have a logging and monitoring configured? So getting network-wide visibility is, is very important and you have a couple of tools or technologies or protocols to do that. It's going to be system logs from both endpoints and uh, network devices. It's going to be SNMP traps. We we're speaking a couple uh, today, and also like NetFlow statistics. We're gonna speak about all of them. We just uh, we're just briefly introducing the options, and then we're gonna choose each of those uh, and speak in more detail. Now, logging and monitoring means that you're gonna have is so the more devices that you, you're gonna send logs from, uh, and you're gonna, the more devices you're gonna monitor, it means that you're gonna, have, you're gonna have huge amount of data to be processed and interpreted by your logging system, your logging server, or your so your syslog server, or by your SNMP server, which is of course not possible by humans be human beings. So you cannot like imagine a huge network with you know tens and thousands uh, of users and so many devices and a lot of traffic happening back and forth. You cannot, uh, I, you cannot, let's say a human being cannot uh, correlate, grab all of those logs and understand what happens and correlate them and say something like, oh, they, there's an attack happening from point A to point B in the network. It, it is not possible. So for that example, for that, uh, for that scope, you're going to have in the end deployed in the network what is called a solution like security information and event management, ACM, which can collect all of those uh, information, all of those logs, all of the NetFlow statistics, and even SNMP traps, and correlate them and match them against uh, built-in or user-configured, let's say, rules. And then it, it can alarm you whenever uh, something matching the, the rules happens, which means there's an attack happening in the network. But nowadays, to keep uh, it's a long discussion, but to keep it simple, the the regular CM systems are kind of like obsolete. They no longer uh, offer the required, let's say, features in order to protect against today's most commonly used attacks and most, uh, let's say, complex, which are the APTs. So for that scope. Uh, most organizations need to deploy something which is called big data security analytics, which is a which is a, like an evolution of, of the CM box, which can collect much more data, analyze it better from multiple resources, and take uh, let's say uh, and and be and is able to identify also to new features like sandboxing. Or um, uh, or or file or file hashing patterns. It can somehow it can better detect if there is an attack happening uh, in the network, and if especially if that's going to be what is called the advanced persistent threat attack. <laughs> 